we want to resolve. And let's open this new um, full trace view that's available uh, through uh, performance monitoring. And so this is uh, a new feature that we just released. Um, and we can see the breakdown of this trace. We can see that this checkout um, um, action that was triggered by an end user in my website um, contains two transactions, contains two errors. I was only aware of one. Um, I was notified about that one. Um, and the total duration of that uh, trace took 3.2 seconds, not that bad, um, but two errors, it's definitely something that I want to look into. Um, and so I can go ahead and see, continue analyzing uh, the performance details of this if I want to, uh, but in this case, I want to go and see what's going on with the error uh, that we just discovered. I can also see that through this quick view here that refers me to the child transaction that was part of this trace. So I've started off with the um, front end, and now there's another transaction or error in the back end. And so I can see that related error in this context. And this seems to be, surprisingly, the root cause um, of my checkout error. So now I'm transitioned into an error that has actually happened in my Flask project and in, in my Flask backend application. Again, uh, all the metadata that I need to see about this error, uh, this being Python, so the SDK collects uh, different types of context as well um, about the, the, the server, the operating system, uh, the runtime that was available, uh, the packages that were uh, uh, deployed at the time, et cetera. 